Hi, I'm Hauke from Fuss Farming. Today I show you how to build a horse fence for a seasonal pasture with a gateway really easy. First of all, why do you need a safe horse fence? There are two important reasons. Firstly, so that nothing happens to your loved ones and secondly, so that nothing happens to you in case of an accident. Make sure that the fence meets the requirements of your local equestrian association and your insurance company. Horse owners are responsible for their animals and held accountable if the fence is built incorrectly. Our example today is a paddock on a field with an existing fence, which is not suitable for keeping horses. This is very common in practice. It is advised to keep a minimum distance to the neighboring plot of at least 50 cm. If you want to build a fence, you should first measure your pasture to know which products and how many you will need. For a pasture with a 400 meter perimeter and a gateway, you need the following items. 12 volt energizer, 12 volt electric fence battery, energizer box, galvanized metal posts, poly posts, 40 mil tape with copper and stainless steel wires, corner tape insulators, Cavallo, fence tester, gate handles with tape connector, gate handle set for tapes, 10 meter ground cable, stainless steel plate set, grounding kit, line connector, connection cable, stainless steel tape connector, warning signs. You can see the exact qualities in our online shop under this article number. First, it is important to choose the right line and corner posts. The general formula for calculating the post height is 3 quarters of the weather height of the tallest horse. With an average weather height of 160 cm, you need the post to be at least 120 cm above the ground. You can use our 150 cm posts, which are 132 cm above the ground and give enough room in case you add larger horses. For the corners, always use stable posts like our all-round metal posts. These posts already have pre-drilled holes for the insulators. The posts must stand securely to withstand the tensile forces of the conductor material, the wind and the horses. Now attach the corner insulators to the posts at heights of approximately 45, 75 and 120 centimeters. Make sure that the trident points inwards. As a tip, use a plastic post to determine the insulator heights. Please don't forget to use extra insulators at the beginning of the gateway, so that it is not electrified when open. Pull the first row of tape from corner post to corner post to get a straight line. Tension the fence so that it does not sag and is not worn down by the insulators. Set fence posts along the tape at a distance of 4 to 5 meters. The distance depends, for example, on the soil conditions and the conductor material. Make sure that there is no grass, bushes or branches touching the fence. Every plant on the fence will drain power. The less vegetation there is, the better and safer the fence will be. Additional stability is achieved with all round posts every 20 meters. And now to the conductor material. Make three rows. This is recommended by the Horse Association and is part of your insurance contract. The uppermost row is approximately three quarters of withers height, usually 1.2 to 1.4 meters, and the lowest is 40 to 50 centimeters, so that escape artists have a hard time escaping. There are some differences between conducting materials. Your horses can see tape the best. We recommend using at least 20 mm electric fence tape, better still 40 mm. Do not tie knots. If you do, the conducting wires will break 
the electricity flow will be interrupted and the fence will become unsecure. Use connectors. We have rope and tape connectors. Also use the connectors for the beginning and end of the fence. You'll need an opening to get your horses out to the paddock. Use our all-round metal posts and gate handles with tape or rope connectors. The gate will be electrified when you hook the gate handles onto the insulators. Bury the ground cable under the gate to ensure the rest of the fence is electrified. Now connect the energizer. Connect the black wire to the negative battery terminal and the red wire to the positive. Place the battery inside the box. Connect one end of the fence connection cable to the positive terminal on the energizer and the other to the fence. Set up your grounding next to the energizer. Use the connection cable to connect the grounding rod and the energizer's grounding terminal. The grounding rods should be at least 3 meters apart. Slide the side panel on the box. Now connect the three rows of tape using a hard clamp connection cable. Always check the voltage before putting your horses out. You need at least 3000 volts for a secure fence. Should you have any questions, you can always contact our customer service team. Here you will find experts with years of experience. For more tips and tricks about electric fencing, visit our channel.